Hello guys, in this video we will check the pin joint 2D node. The pin joint is one of the joint 2Ds. You can think on it like something similar to a nail that you use to attach two different nodes. The only difference is that you can change the softness, that's the strength that both are being held together. In this video I will just make some tests and have a bit of fun with the pin joint. I will put the timestamps at the description or at the timeline if it works. So let's begin. The first example will be this explosive bridge. So let's start adding our pin joint. Now let's create the first block of the bridge. This block will be a static body with a collision shape and a sprite. Now let's add a sprite and make the collision shape match the sprite size. The next block will be a rigid body with a collision shape and a sprite. Let's increase the size of the sprite and make the collision shape be at the same size. Now we can lock them together so it's easier to drag them. Now let's use the pin joint. We can see that when we drag the pin joint over a body, the name of the body appears. So we have to drag the pin joint to a point that both bodies are appearing. Now we can go to the pin joint configuration and set node A and node B. And if we run it, we can see that they are linked together now. I will change the sprite of the static part to be easier to see them. Now let's make some changes here. Let's put it more at the corner, increase the mass and the gravity at the rigid body. And let's run it again. And now we can see that the gravity is moving the rigid body and they are just fixed together by the pig joint. So now we can copy and paste the parts, drag and rotate them to build the bridge. Now we can add the pin joints to connect the parts. I will put the pin joints between the nodes just to be easier to see which pin joint is connecting which parts. Let's rename the nodes too. This all will help to identify the parts later. Now it's really easy to make the connections, we just need to check the bodies that are above and under the pin joint. Now we just need to drag the pin joints to the right position, between the two nodes that they are connecting. And so we can see our bridge is ready. Now let's create a new node just to organize our bridge.
Now let's create a new rigid body and let it fall at the bridge just to see how it reacts. And now let's make the bridge explode. To do that, we will use an Area 2D, so when the rigid body enters the area, the bridge will explode. This explosion will be composed by two steps. In the first step, we will destroy all the joints. And at the second step, we will apply impulse at all rigid bodies. So let's add the area with a collision shape. Let's create a script. Now we can add all joints to a group and we can add all rigid bodies to another group. Now let's make the area fire the signal when a body enters. And so first, it will destroy all the joints when a body enters. Let's check it. Now you can apply an impulse to the rigid bodies and destroy the area. And so we finished our first example. Our second example will be a chain. So let's create it. Let's create a static body, because the first ring of the chain will be a static body. Now inside the static body we can put a collision shape and a sprite. Now let's add the ring texture. And adjust the collision shape to match the texture. Now let's make the next ring. To do that, we add a rigid body, and inside of the rigid body we create a sprite and a collision shape. And we adjust everything like we did with the first ring. When this ring is ready, we can copy and paste him to make as many rings we want. Now we change the positions to make them look like a chain. Then let's rename them to make it easier to identify them. Then we add the pin joints to link the rings together. Then we add the nodes that we are linking at the pin joint. Now let's create a script with the code to move the chain. We will create a code that moves the first ring of the chain to the mouse position. And to do that we will just check if the event is a mouse motion, and if it is, 
we will move the first node of the chain to the mouse position. And there you can see our chain already working. We can make changes to the gravity or to the mass to get different results, but the main concept is this. Now let's check the third and last example. This example will be a car and we will use the joints to fix the wheels to the car. So let's just quickly create the ground. Now we can create the car. The car will be a rigid body with a collision shape and a sprite. Then we can add a texture to the sprite. I drew this car. I knew it's really bad, but it's just for the example. So let's just select the region here. Now let's add the collision shape. I guess it would be better to use a collision polygon. So let's change it. Now we need to draw the shape. And after that, the car is finished. And now we can create the wheels. They are basically the same. A rigid body with a collision shape and a sprite. Then we set the texture for the wheel and select a region. Now let's define the shape. It seems that I can't even draw a view. It should be a circle. Let's copy it and paste to have another view. Now I can position the wheels correctly at the car. Now we create the pin joint to connect the car to the wheels. And we drag them to the right positions. And select the nodes to make the connections. Now let's check it. There's the car. Now let's create a script to make the car move. What we will do here is basically capture the inputs and apply a torque impulse at the wheels. So it will apply a positive torque impulse if I press up and a negative torque impulse if I press down. And so we can change other properties like the gravity, the mass, and even the torque impulse too, to have different results.
And so this is it for this video, I hope you enjoy it, if so please consider subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment and thank you for watching, bye.